morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tara Pulisadit. Today, I will present about my work, the effect of sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid treatment on bacterial cellulose for nanocellulose production. I will start with some general information on cellulose. Cellulose is an organic compound that is a polysaccharide consisting of a linear chain of several hundred to many thousand of beta 1,4 linked decomposed units. Cellulose is the most abundant organic polymer on the earth. In the right picture show that the form of cellulose in the natural substance such as cell wall is the packing of fibril. And this is the property of some basically information of the cellulose. First, cellulose is a straight chain polymer. Next, cellulose is no branching. Cellulose arranged in parallel as a bundle that's called fibril. Cellulose is larger than glycogen and starch, insoluble in water, and no crystallized. Cellulose is derived from cell wall, cotton, and wood. Next, I will talk about the nanocellulose. Nanocellulose is a term referring to nanostructured cellulose. It's considered a sustainable nanomaterial due to its availability, biodegradability, and biocompatibility. It exists in a number of forms, including nanofibrillate cellulose, nanocrystalline cellulose, and bacterial cellulose. Nanocellulose can be used to reinforce polymers, papers, and membranes. The property of cellulose fibers is high modulus, high tensile strength, and good barrier properties. So, it's used as raw material for the production of many products, such as cardboard or filter, and it's including the commercial product like spray for nanocellulose. The bacterial cellulose that we use is synthesis though the Acetobacter salinum bacteria. This bacteria function is binding sugar and other organic substrates into ribbons of pure cellulose that are integrated into fabrics. The objective of my project is to find the simple method to separate the cellulose fibrils from the bacterial cellulose. Next, we will talk about the experiment. The experiment that I did has divided into two parts. For the first part is assimilating the piece of bacterial cellulose, and the other part is assimilating the crushed bacterial cellulose. First of all, we want to know the structure of the bacterial cellulose. So, we cut the bacterial cellulose into the thin sheets, then observe the microscope. Next, assimilating the piece of bacterial cellulose. First, we cut the bacterial cellulose into three small pieces and put each one into each test tube. Freely ionized water in the one tube, sodium hydroxide solution in the another tube, and hydrocolic solution in the other tube. Observe, I record the same result in 24, 48, and 72 hours. Next, assimilating the crushed bacterial cellulose. First, we put the bacterial cellulose into the beaker, then fill the water. Next, spin the biocellulose 
sorry, spin the bacteria cellulose until the bacteria cellulose spread in over the solution. So the solution becomes opaque. Then use my copy pad to move the solution from the beaker to the centrifugal tube. Fill the ionized water in the one tube. Sodium hydroxide solution in another tube and hydrocolic solution in the last tube. And spin the centrifugal tube. Then drop the solution on the microscope slide and observe the microscope. Next is a result of the experiment. So, this picture we can see that the chain of bacterial cellulose is packing and has many layers. So, we have to find the method to separate the packing chain of bacterial cellulose. So, we are going to the next section. Assimilating the piece of bacterial cellulose. In every picture of this section, the first tube is the piece of bacterial cellulose filled the ionized water. The second tube is the piece of bacterial cellulose filled four molars of sodium hydroxide solution. And the last tube is the piece of bacterial cellulose filled four molar of hydrocholic acid solution. So we can see that the bacterial cellulose that fill sodium hydroxide solution, that is the second tube of every picture, is constrict like the 24 hours picture. And the bacterial cellulose that fill hydrocholic acid solution is dispersed, especially the surface of the bacterial cellulose at 72 hours. We can see that the cellulose spread into fibers, obviously. In this section is the result of assimilating the crushed bacterial cellulose. We can see that the result is agreeable to the previous section, that is, when we fill the sodium hydroxide solution, it will be constrict, and when we fill hydrocholic acid solution, it will be dispersed. So, this is the this these pictures is taken by 20 times magnification at 74 hours. This picture is taken by 100 times magnification at the same time. This, this picture is, this picture are 20 times magnification at 48 hours. And these pictures are 100 times at the same time. 20 times magnification at 72 hours. And 100 times at the same time. So, we, we can see that it is the same trend in the, each time. So, the conclusion is hydrocholic acid solution and sodium hydroxide solution react to the structure of bacterial cellulose that can be seen with the eye. Hydrocholic solution contributes to the structure of bacterial cellulose spread out. Sodium hydroxide solution contributes to the structure of bacterial cellulose trick and clot. Thank you, Professor Dr. Snow Agassi, Department of Chemistry, Faculty of Science, Jurangupan University, Ms. Nisa Viriyasita Hall, and Ms. Supata Chalet Pao, Balin De Cha Singh 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 School, DPST and IPST. Thank you for your attention.